All right, day 109, 109 consecutive days of walking at least one mile. I'll put the camera on, we'll get going. Walking in a different part of the neighborhood today. I don't think I've ever walked before. I've been on the street. Start the timer. All right, put in your guesses how far I'll go, how long it'll take. I've been on this street before, but I don't know if I've ever been on the street this far west. So, see what's going on. See some stuff I haven't seen before. I don't know what's going on down there. See, see if we see any cars or unique houses. Always see something. How many muscle cars today? Let's see, I put the over under it in the neighborhood, so I better not too high. Three and a half, two and a half, three and a half. Let's say three and a half muscle cars, three and a half dogs, two and a half delivery trucks. It's a couple chairs, some rocking chairs. They look pretty nice. So just out here for pickup. Be nice to put out on your front porch or something. And they'll be long gone by the time I get this video up. All right, a little mini Cooper or something. I have never, a nice Boogan V up there. Down there too, look at that. Never walked this far down on this street or driven. I don't believe. It's uh, not sunny today, but it's not that cool. Probably about 60. 465. See what we see today. Some kind of old truck with a camper on it. Looks like it's from the 80s, I guess. 90s, maybe. It's more like 80s. Chevy truck with a Lance camper on it. Hmm. Doesn't look like they drive it much. They've been sitting there for a while. See, what did I see yesterday? I'm trying to remember. Hmm. Where did I walk yesterday? Oh yeah, I saw that uh it's like a 68 or 69 Ford Bronco. It's in beautiful shape. I think it was 68. Super sport, I think is what it was. I don't really remember. It's nice, like silver gray. Looked brand new. Saw it at the car shop. I guess they were working on it. That was really neat. Oh yeah, I saw a 1940s, uh, I think it was a Chevrolet. It was driving by on the street. It wasn't even parked. That was pretty interesting. So, you want to see that? That was yesterday. Check that out. Tell me what you think the most, uh, the end of the video, what the most interesting thing we've seen on, we see on this video. I always see something. Like a cop car up here. Uh-oh. Nobody's in trouble. We saw, it was it two days ago, somebody getting a ticket or something. A cop had them pulled over and then they called for backup, I guess, and then the backup just went right on by them. Oh, there they are up there. I don't know what they're working on. Giving a summons to somebody or something. I don't know. Maybe they're giving them an eviction notice. One... Just one cop car. Just leave it running. They let the car run in front of my house the other day. Never really found out where they were. Where they were uh, at. They were in front of my house for about 30, 40 minutes. The car was running. Two cars. Oh, I got a flat tire. Oh boy. Uh, street cleaning day. They don't have to move it. I don't see where the street cleaning sign is. So. Well, I've seen two cops in three days now. One in front of my house the other day. Three cops in four days, five days. What's going on? Having a infiltration of policemen. People are doing bad stuff, I guess. I don't know. 
What is this thing? Big old Ford truck. Ford Super Duty. It's a 150, 250, 350. It's a big truck. It's a brown, I guess it's brown, bronze F250. King Ranch. Lariette. Hmm. I don't know much about trucks. The first dog comes a Rivian. What kind is it? A SUV Rivian? I didn't know what a Rivian was about two months ago. Now I see them all the time. Electric car trucks. I think they're all trucks and SUVs. I don't think I've seen a Rivian car. This is pretty good looking. Futuristic, sort of like the uh, Tesla front end. Uh, I mean, uh, the Tesla truck. I've seen two Tesla trucks. One guy showed it and showed it to me, showed me how the back end opened. That was at least six weeks ago. Look at this old 70s truck, Chevrolet. I don't know, custom, it says custom. Look, it's got a big bed. It says Chevrolet. I don't know what model it is. Let me know. Always something. You're doing something on this house. Painting, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're playing along, let me know how many days in a row this is for you. 10 days, 20 days, 50 days, walking at least one mile. Let me know where the most interesting thing you've seen on your walks. But the longest you've walked in one day. I did one walk, it was four miles. One day. It's consecutive, you know, it's not a mile in the morning and a mile in the evening, all in one shot. I did it all in one shot. And uh, that's the longest I've walked for. I don't know if it was a little over four, I guess. But usually just a mile. Today, I think I'm doing two. This is the first video, first walk. What's the most interesting thing you've seen? I've seen all kinds of stuff. $150 million house, $13 million Ferrari, had a bird eat from my hand, all kinds of stuff. A couple of cars from the 40s recently. That Saturday saw a 40, it was a 48 Woody. They had a 48 Woody, I think a 59 Cadillac and a 50, another 53 or something Cadillac. They had all jacked up on three foot wheels. They take it off roading. Kind of a orangey brown that was on uh, Saturday. If you want to see that? Saturday I saw a lot of stuff. I saw a car, a Sunbeam. It was a uh, driven in the James Bond movie Doctor No. Not that specific car, but that model. And then the next day I saw another one. I never seen one before in my life that I recall. Sunbeam. I, and the second day was in Manhattan Beach. It was Sunday. I just saw the back end of it, they had it in the garage. But Saturday, you could see the whole, wow, look at these pretty flowers. Yellow, pink, yellow and red. Geraniums, daisies, got daisies, geraniums, pink geraniums, yellow, more pink geraniums, red geraniums, yellow daisies, pretty. Guess we'll walk up to the end of this street and turn around. It's a couch. Somebody's doing indoor outdoor living in their driveway. What's that about? Well, haven't seen one muscle car yet. Halfway already at a half a mile. There's a bike that's coming. 
What kind of bike is that? This looks like a dirt bike, but no, I don't think it's a, it looks like a street bike. It doesn't say what it is. I've seen quite a few motorcycles. Triumph. Guy had a Triumph and a 60, was it a 63 Ranchero? Beautiful. Cherry red. That was at least two or three weeks ago. He had a Triumph and a 67, 63, uh, 67 Ranchero. I don't remember the exact year, but it was beautiful. Little park. They only got one basketball goal. General Homer. O. Eaton Jr. Parkett. I guess he used to live around here or something. Probably donated the land, I assume, as a multi-million dollar piece of land right here. <laughs> oh man, it's probably worth ten million dollars. At least five. All right. Walk up to the end of the street and turn around. No muscle cars so far. Over halfway done. Usually, I think I put it at three and a half. I always I see at least one. I don't think I'm going to see one. Maybe. Yeah, I got another half a mile to go. There goes one Mustang. I've been in an, an accident. It's red, black, and white. I don't know, maybe it was just two tone. There it goes. I don't know. Might have been two tone. The front. Both sides were white. Oh, there's an old car. Two old cars. I don't think I can get across the street now. I guess I have to cross because I don't know what that other one is. Go check it out. Now wait till the light turns red. And make it across after this guy. Let's see what these cars are. They're all beat up. I think one's a ranchero, I guess. Yeah, it seems like I've seen an excessive number of El Caminos and rancheros. People like those cars that look like a truck. And that another modern day one's a Rambler. I saw a black and yellow one. And the other day I saw a gray one. It's a Ford. Must be a ranchero, yep. Wow, they got a lot of stuff in there. Globes and Ranchero. Something hanging out of the front. Desert bag. I guess they get caught in the desert or something. Ranchero. Seen better days. 60s. Let's see what this thing is. I don't even know what it is. A Dodge of some sort. I don't know what it is. I don't even know if I've ever even heard of it. Oh, that's a Dodge Dart? Wow. Must be from the 50s. Or very early 60s. Whoa. Been in a little bit of wrecks here. Oh, it must be 60s looking at the door handle. That's a Dodge Dart, I guess. Early 60s. It definitely seen better days. Hey, look at the rear again. And figure out what year it is. Those tail lights look like they're from the 50s. It could be early 60s, I guess. I don't really know. I'm walk in front of here. Get a side view. Not much, but a little bit. Get out of the street. Yeah, 
was a, what was the other thing? Oh, a Ranchero and a Dodge Dart. Interesting. Always oh, see something interesting it's across the street. Go back to the other side. an ambulance or something uh oh they're coming down here oh boy fire truck Let's see if people pull over pull over pull over pull over pull over you dumpsters <laughs> know where they were going they're going somewhere wow oh i'm gonna go up there i'm gonna look at this house first though that's my way back this house looks abandoned in the 60s for sure i think it's abandoned man no garage probably two bedroom one bath Maybe the 50s. Kind of looks like the 60s. One time it was probably gorgeous. People couldn't wait to live there. Probably so happy to move in. Now it's abandoned. Probably their first home. I don't know. All right. I don't think I have ever driven on this street. And I recall, I've never been down this far for sure. It's a dead end. I got a truck and a... I don't know what they got there. Two things covered up. We're seeing one muscle car, barely. Barely saw that Mustang. Almost did a mile. 0.8. What do we got here? S. P. Beagle. Engineering. Oh boy. Guess they do engineering. Oh, there's license. I guess there's some a contractor or something. Tacoma. Orange. Are we going to see another muscle car? No, I don't think so. Not from what I can see, and I'm already at 0.83. That Dodge Dart had seen another little park, General Eaton. He's probably a general or something. Maybe he donated this land too. Like I say, it's a it's five million piece of five million dollars at least piece of property there. Probably more. One right on the other side, maybe. Maybe they were friends and they both decided to build a park for the community. Who knows? Well, look at this tree fence <laughs> they've cut holes in the fence to allow the tree to grow look at that that's interesting usually they cut the tree but they've cut the fence unique didn't want to ruin the shape of the tree that's nice Whoa.
nice trees there very nicely groomed I don't know what they are kind of nice the yellow yellow leaves almost look yellowy green but they're light green big probably saves on their electric bill keeps the heat out in the summertime here's a pea green something Toyota or something I don't know so we'll find out here in a second it's a Toyota Tacoma and it's very green I don't know about that color saw a Lamborghini almost that color about a week or two ago very green all right almost at a mile heading back home see what else we see on this side I think we're gonna see one muscle car a whole walk it's unusual no Camaros and one Mustang I barely saw that this unusually shaped building town home and another park oh the dog it's a third one Beverly Parkette you name them after people Huh, that's unusual usually every piece of property is used in the South Bay with a house you know they can build a house or two or three on a lot and make 10 million dollars that's just a little bit of park all right all right we'll get to the top of this hill and be the first mile on the channel marked out big hill it's kind of a pretty house it's from the 80s I would assume it's got a nice little balcony of course they never go out a lot of windows bay window I like it it's a maple tree I don't see too many maple trees pretty sure that's maple all right if you guessed 1.05 and 21 minutes no how much is it 1.05 and 22 minutes and 35 seconds you are the winner turn the camera off if you like the channel subscribe we'll put a recommendation for another video you might like come back for part two it was the most interesting thing we saw in this video probably the dodge dart or the ranchero from the 60s there's a mustang way up there i don't know if you can see it number two that's it come back for number two